In today's video, I'm going to show you guys the default setups that you guys should know on Oregon and call us that you should know. Now, if you guys want any other maps, any other video, please let me know in the comments below. I am going to be on the grind for YouTube and I'll be making a ton of videos here. So, like I said, gonna be showing you guys the default setups and etc. And hopefully it will go good and you guys will learn something. So, First up, we have kids upstairs. Now, usually reinforcements wise, you get one, two walls in attic, get three and four in attic drop down or pit. Get those two, you get the main walls as well here. Make a shotgun hole or rotate hole around top white area. I usually like to just make it a jump hole one. Sometimes put holes above just so I can throw the gas canister away. And it smokes out trophy door. And then also make sure you shoot off all the glass on the windows from big window to kids window all the way to games or gen window if you want to call it. Uh, and then also another reinforcement goes here just so you can get wall bang and you have a little bit of safe area between here and big window. So with call up here. Usually, big window is this big double window. Talking about here, you have left and right. You know, left side big window over here, depending on which way you're looking. Usually, when you're looking at a place, you want to call it. So, left side big window, right side big window. And then, when you're looking into big window here, usually you have big window corner or big L is sometimes what it's referred to. Uh, then, you have just default bomb chassis. Next up, you're going to top white around, you know top white okay top white bookcase if you want to call it or some people like to call it canadian spot because canadian with the shot and basically this is his own spot and then you have white stairs as well uh going into games here you have games you know game, by games rotate you have the default plant which is on the red games table right here you have games couch uh sometimes this is referred right as this spot as drone hole because there's a drone hole right here uh also always shoot that music uh, then you have games wall or master breach. Some people like to call it uh, Next up here. We have bolo uh, I have no clue why it's called bolo, but I think you made a play here and this is why they call it uh, Just somewhere in this general direction of bolo. I uh, usually defenders sit here. It's a really good spot uh, You can try to get them out with a need from games window or you can get it from trophy window uh, And then going on to here we have attic door or sometimes this is referred to attic plant just because it's by the attic door or tucked, people like to call it. Uh, going into attic here, you have attic uh, going up. Some people like to call it pit. You know, he's in drop down or he's in pit. Uh, and then you have attic long, just because this long angle here. And then you also have the attic reinforcements. Now, usually when you're playing Maverick or, you know, sometimes Ace comes here, usually you want to open up here just because it's a safe spot to be able to peek and then walk in here. Uh, Maverick usually makes a little hole here. He makes a rotate and then he likes to make, you know, some lines above here as well Just so you can burn and you can need over the pit and then you can push up. Uh, always have this hatch open as well Never want to have this closed whatsoever And then kids you just have, you know, kids window you have kids rotate uh, going to attic and then you have kids tucked Pretty good spot the hold and then hatch and you have right below this kill cam here you just have kids corner is what I like call it, or deep kids now what's really cool about kids as well is basically all of underneath uh the red cabinets now they are all you can shoot their feet basically and it's super nice because as an attacker you know it's kind of annoying when you can just send kids uh, also most of the floor is soft so you can need below now going to the next site we have laundry uh laundry room aka basement usually is a really good site to go uh, like to make the rotates, you know, make a jumpable rotate into closet here, and then you always want to reinforce this wall here. Make a runnable rotate as well here, depending if you have a smoke or not, or a mute. Uh, make the rotate into bunker, and then you want to put your shield down. Usually, there's a Jaeger as well to put down your ADSs. Uh, and then mute usually put some jammers around here. I always like to open up just the barricades to listen for sound. Uh, next up, you want to reinforce this e-box wall, and then you make head holes across the e-box wall as well, so you can get an angle from pillar, and you can swing if you need to from e-box door. Uh, always want to make back holes as well, uh, depending if you're 5 second or not. Sometimes people like to reinforce it, 
Personally, I like to leave it open just so I can peek from the e-back store all the way to back series. You can get this angle right here. Uh, make sure you get all three of the hashes. You want to get the meeting hash. You want to get the freezer hash up there as well. And then you also want to get the laundry hash up here. Uh, next up with the head holes into freezer. Want make it? Uh, sometimes I like making it jumpable. Sometimes just head holes, depending on again how you're holding. Reinforce that wall as well. So basically, you have one reinforcement to you have three for the hatch, you have four for this wall, and then five, that wall, six for this wall here, and then seven for the hatch, and eight for that wall. So you have one, two, three, four, hatch, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, and then, like I said, some people reinforce this, so you have one left, and then you can always reinforce off e box or sorry, bunker here, if you want to, uh, after your shoe gets gone, but as a smoke, you should try to play, you know, as much as you can smoke off the objective. So, with clouds here, let's go over them. We have outside of bunker, you have blue barrels, you know, behind blue barrels, good spot to hold. Uh, usually, if you smoke, me and my friends like to do this, but... You can just pressure them out, you know, you can smoke them, then you have to swing one way, and then you can just swing them. Uh, you know, hard left, hard right of bunker door, so hard left, hard right, you know, right side, whatever you want to call it. Uh, here, we have bunker tucked. Uh, it's a good position to play. If you want mine, it's really good. Uh, next up, we have tarps here, just because it's a tarp. Uh, some people like to play here, you know, they swing cross, if you really want to. Then next up, we have Harry Potter, refer to call out. Uh, Usually there's barbed wire back, so there's a banshee or something. Uh, next up we have pillar. You know, pillar is a pretty good spot to hold. You can watch back if you want. You can watch, you know, blue barrels. You can watch a long haul if you want. If the enemy gets this position, it's basically over. You have a, you know, you have a really good advantage. Uh, also, I forgot to make these holes for the back stairs. And usually I like to make the top holes and then the feet holes as well. This you can see them, so you can give them that advantage. Next up we have e-box. You have e-box hatch. Uh, usually default plant somewhere either here in supply or on the door so you can get a shot from freezer. Nitro usually comes out with some smoke grenades. If you watch uh, the Pro League recently, Iconic did this cool play where he was tucked here and he killed him, killed him, him, and then he ran the bunker and killed him. Uh, supply, you have, you know, bunker or, you know, bunker shield if you want to. Uh, freezer door, you have closet, uh, laundry tucked as well. Laundry, you have Chala here because you sit on the bomb and laundry as well. And then just, you know, all the laundry, your main stairs, your freezer stairs. And yeah, I mean, that's basically it. You have the box as well in the freezer. There's a lot to it. Box one, maybe box two, depending on where you're going from. It's uh, your personal preference, what you call it. You know, closer, you can call it box one. If you want the farther, you can call it box one. Just depending. Now, the last site usually meeting uh kitchen no one really goes small tower at that much anymore i would say uh just depending on you know what team you have or what you're doing uh but next up let's get the default kitchen hold here so you want to open the hatch and kids you want to make security either head holes or jump hold just so you can rotate open up the hatch security i like just to make like a little crouch hole here that you can get through sometimes you like to reinforce this wall and the single wall into dining uh going up you know i want to make this rotate next to this metal box usually runnable just so you can get through the sights reinforce off this wall and this wall as well the meeting split walls as well that's two uh open up e-box hatch Depending, you have to ask your team, hey, do you guys want to hold upstairs or not? Sometimes it's open, sometimes not. Usually I like to have it open just so they can't get that control. You want to reinforce both these walls as well on stage. Going up to back stairs here. Uh, you can either go into kids to reinforce or not. Then you just want to reinforce off these two attic walls. So that's one, two, three, four. You have both the split walls. You have five, six. That rotate wall here, seven. You have security wall, eight. And the single wall is nine. And then the other one, usually you can do the hold upstairs if you want to. Uh, Mute usually puts his jammer on one of the single walls there. Uh, people like to play up top too. So they like to reinforce off this right here. So you can't get the angle from big window, you know, if you're tucked here. Or, you know, you can't see your feet. 
uh, and then like to hold the hatch. Uh, again, depending on the setup, I mean, mute's pretty good up here. You know, could deny drones if you want to. Hold up here, and then usually I like to make the Z holes as well, so you can watch Z from upstairs. Pretty useful. Uh, again, depending on how many you know places you hold upstairs, sometimes people reinforce off the master walls, and they you know they don't reinforce that; they just leave it soft in general. And then if you need to go up here, you can. Uh, so yeah, that's basically the the default setup, I would say. Uh, so going off callouts here, we're gonna have stage or meeting stage, or like call it. Uh, meeting default plant is usually right here. Uh, you can crouch and you can get protected. Sometimes people like to shotgun this out though. Just so you might be able to get an angle if you're on bomb chest and you can kill their head. Uh, you have the stage walls. You have green hallway or green, green stairs. You know, kitchen door. You have green long. Uh, you go in the kitchen here. You have refrigerator. Obviously, you know, the main refrigerators are two. Uh, sometimes people like to play... Uh, plant on the B bomb chest in the kitchen so kitchen tucked you can call it uh underneath the hatch if you want you call this uh kitchen kitchen into dining here so maybe you know kitchen door plant maybe and then this is a green door i guess you call it so green door plant or kitchen door just depending on where the call it is you know you can call it also by the mailbox so you just have to refer to the thing or you can call this pan plant if you really wanted to but people would just have to know what that is and then going into the kitchen here, you know, you have security, security hash, uh, left, right security. Going into meeting here, you have meeting rotate. And then also people like to call this metal box and kitchen. You know, you have the kitchen drone hall as well. And then people will refer to this as split. So the split here, you know, you can either go right split, left split. You call it close split, close right split, close left split. And, you know, people like to hold the single as well. Easy peasy, let me squeeze you. you have meeting, you have sandbags. Uh, you have sand, like bomb chassis sandbags. And then you have far sandbags as well. You have benches here. And yeah, I mean, that's basically all the calls that you need to know for this. You have bomb chassis. You can call this Chala if you want or tucked, tucked bomb chassis. Just depending on, what, again, what your team really wants to call out and what you want to refer it as. Again, you have to go over your team. So that was the defense guide. And hopefully that helped out a little bit. And let's get straight into the attack. All right, now going into the attacking guide here. Usually people like to do west over, so they like to do small tower over or dining over. Uh, it just really, you can take that control. You know, there's a lot of drones. So people like to leave pre-placed drones, you know, somewhere in small tower or in dining. Uh, basically, you just want to get a cutoff, regardless of where it is, but just so you know some information. Now, when you're working with your team, it's a lot easier. If you're solo queue, you can just leave a drone for yourself, and maybe you can ask your teammates, hey, can you drone this? Can you do that? So, no. Showers also, it's a good cutoff. You can just put it on shower store, see if anyone runs by. Underneath, you know, bottom white default cam. People like to leave default cams, like, here, or in the drone hole just to hide it. You can also put it up there on the TV and you can get a really good pre-place. And so the, you know if they're there or not. So say here, right? Leave it, someone gets on it. Or, you know, I check it, it's clear, no one takes it out. We just go in. You know, make sure you take out the default cams as well. Go in. And then usually what people like to do also is just open up small tower just so they can't get, you know, can't get that control, can't get that pressure. Uh, in, in Challenger League and Pro League, people like to do this, and they like to take showers and just open up the single so you can rotate back and forth. You can have this control, and people feel pressure. You know, if you're coming out of here, you're like, oh, shit, there might be a gun here. Okay. So then you want to, you know, drone out everything if you have pre-placed top. If not, it's whatever. Uh, make sure you, if you want to roam clear, then you can just, you know, open up, rotates, make sure you have pre-placed, make sure you drone everything. Usually, if they have an attic rotate, try to kill them. You can just cut them off. I personally like to make rotates, like I said, into security in the meeting. And then sometimes into split here. Uh, just so it's a lot easier, so you don't have to run through all the doorways. Now, when pushing, you usually want to have a uh, hard breacher as well. If they have a kid up, you can bring Maverick if you want. You can bring Habana, Therm, Ace. Anything really helps. Hard breach advice as well from players. But you want to open up all the hatches for the strong clear. And after that, you know, you can really push wherever you want. You can... If they're downstairs, like I said, you know, just talk with your team. Work a backstairs plant if you want to. Try to clear out Harry Potter. Hibana usually opens this wall here. 
And then you can name from Harry Potter. So let me show you on my drone. You can name Harry Potter right here. No one can sit there. And then you can push back stairs. Or you can also name Pillar, which is right over here. Put the grenade, two, three seconds. Let it go. And you drop. Kills them. Or damages them. Then the person from back stairs can pinch them as well. Now with the backstairs plant, usually soft breacher, you can open this wall, hold the angles. Uh, default plant should be relatively around either the door or a little bit tucked, but you don't want to be shot from freezer. Now that's basically one of the hard parts. You know, you have to precisely do it. You have to beat the nitro, beat the, the smoke out as well. Uh, if you can, you also want to take elbow control and you want to take, you know, where the smoke is, they reinforce off. Okay, you know, maybe make map holes in the wall. You know, hold this angle here. This is a really good position for defenders. You know, they can hold tucked here. You can nitro over smoke or whatever you want, and they can just swing. So this pillar angle really helps it. Helps you hold. Because when when they swing, right? Oh, okay. I either have to look here, 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 or I have to hold from me back. So I'm like, oh, shit. Okay, and then you're going to die most likely. Unless they swing out. I mean, look at this. Before you see them in, let's see, this corner here, right? If you have freezer control as well. I mean, it's kind of hard sometimes, but if you have the freezer control, right, you have, bam, look at, look at this, look at these angles, bam, bam, and bam. No, and then you have a person sitting in pillar as well, and you just watch the long angle, pretty nice. And then freezer, you know, you can nade out if you want to, or you can just take it, you know, you can go all the way down, hold laundry, rotate as well, easy piece on the screen. So that will be the room clear that will happen there. Now, let me show you a... Let's just do a freezer main take. All right, we'll do freezer main. I'll bring Hibana and I'll show you guys. All right, so for this freezer and main take here, usually you just want to have control of maybe upper main stairs and upper white, just so you get cutoffs here. So usually where I like to leave my cam is somewhere either around here, top main stairs, roamers usually, you know, they don't look for it, or you can just leave it up here, you know, look for the cutoff, leave it there. Usually people, unless they're on default, you don't look for this cam here, realistically. Or you can just leave it in, you know, the fox here. You can leave it in this corner. Like, oh, you know, they're flanking. Then you could, you know, get someone up there. Uh, with this freezer main take, though, you just want to have control of at least upper. Maybe a little bit of split. Get a split cam. And then you can open up the main hatch and the freezer hatch. Now, if it's Caden, like I said, you can bring the Maverick. Super easy. He's busy. But if you, they don't have Cade, you know, you can just open it with Hibana. Get the hatches open here. So, also, watch out for spawn peaks also. People like to spawn peak up top in Master. Sometimes in the garage as well. Take out the default cams, you know. Open up. You only need four pellets to open up the hatches here. So, open up one hatch. And then, if you have control of everything, you know, get your other teammates to push bottom white. You can also hold bottom white. And... Hold up here. Out from outside, you can hold bottom white here. You know, in the dining if you want to. Bottom white as well. Get a cam upstairs. And you want to open up this other hatch as well. Now, with this freezer main take, basically what you're trying to execute here is a main plant with Hibana, right? So, with Hibana, you want to try to push out up front. And you, if you want a drone, you always want to keep a drone in your pocket. And try to drone out, you know, laundry, make sure it's clear. Usually, people play tuck on this chala. When the bomb chest is here, there's a chala here. You want to either need it out or something. You can need it from the hatch as well. So, let me show you an example here. You can flash, flash, and you can need, get rid of the EDS and stuff like that. And if you cook it long enough, or if you cook it short enough and it rolls a little bit, you should be able to kill this guy. When you have freezer control as well, you can easily kill this guy. Or you can push up, try to kill him on freezer box, and you can nade over. So the main default plant usually for laundry is around here. So it's usually around either here or just somewhere in this general vicinity, unless you have smokes. You know, another good spot is here. Uh, you can't get really shot from the rotate here, and you're safe. Or if you have this control, you can also plant here. This is also the default plant. Put up in the laundry wall. And you're safe. You know, you're safe from the hallway. If you have freezer control, you can get up a little bit. And basically, the only way they can shoot you is either through, you know, the rotate that I have here. Or if they swing up on, you know, your laundry rotate. But most likely, in all scenarios, you know, your freezer guy will kill him. I mean, look at this. You have to be, basically, your head will be, what, like, here? You have to be exposed all the way from freezer. And then main guy, if you can't kill him, you know, like freezer guy will kill him. So, usually default plant is here. If you have smokes, Cappy Tau, you can also plant, you know, tucked either here or anywhere. Or, sorry, here or anywhere over here as well. Really just depending on what you 
you know, what your team is working with. You always have to communicate with your team as well. Try to show them, you know, hey guys, what can we do? As an IGL on my team, my guy Thunder, he, you know, hey guys, you know, let's go here, let's do this, let's see where they are. So just make sure you always have a drone packet, always see what you can do. Uh, the plant, you know, after execution, you can go back to the hatch as well, depending depending on where you plant. You can hold freezer as well. And you can just sit on top of the hatch, wait until you hear, you know, the diffusal, you can sit here. The drop is sometimes silent, sometimes not, and then you can just swing. Kill him, or here, you can just kill him, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And yeah, let's get on to the next site, kids. Alright, so next up here, we're going to attack kids upstairs. Now, with the kids bomb being upstairs, usually people like to do either Westover or the Master Take. I like Westover, personally. Uh, just like the downstairs roam clear, you want to basically, you know, have free place drones wherever you can in small bring a sledge some sort of hard breach or sorry soft breach with breach charges open up security as well uh in competitive people like to reinforce the single wall here in kitchen and they like to hold downstairs uh but a good way to also use your utility so say you have a sledge right you can need below you can kill the players on the hatch uh really anyway so this is going to be the big window take in kids so you want to take west overhead pre place drones you know bring a soft breacher you can always need from below which is usually the ideal situation that you want to have now, with having soft reach as well, I didn't bring it here, but you can open up a lot downstairs. You know, you can open up long angles so you can pressure them. Uh, also, shoot the default cams, you know, etc. like that. Now, most places on kids and games, downstairs is soft. So, say up here, right, top light, right, you have people like to sit on this angle, right? They like to hide. Now, easily, you can near the spot, you know, uh, with... Uh, what you call it? You need map knowledge. You need map knowledge. You need to know. You can also Z-Ping from below. You know, if you don't know how to cook a grenade, I'll uh, make a video on it. Just cook it. Bam, look at that. Easy peasy. He, or, sorry. Wait, what? Okay, so I actually missed my name, which is quite funny. But usually it kills the, the chassis guy that sits there. Now, it just needs to be a little bit backed up here. So about, right above the door ring. Cook it. Okay, I suck at grenades. I apologize. Uh, when you have sledge, you know, open up, open up, uh, showers here. You can hold the angle from bottom line as well. Uh, usually you want to open up up top here as well. And then you can need, you know, back kids if you want to. The attic rotate if you can. Uh, close to the kids rotate, you know, where they usually have it towards big window. Or you can need somewhere from, you know, the kids door. So, people like to sit on this angle as well. And like they heal up with Thunderbird, realistic anything. So when you're gonna need the bomb down here, let's talk about the plant spots. With the plant spots, you usually want Hibana or some sort of hard reach to sit big window and try to drone out, try to waste time, you know, burn if you can't watch a pick from white. Uh if you have kids control from below or you have top white, you can plant. Usually people like to reinforce this wall like usual. You can plant here, it's safe. Uh, they can't shoot your feet, or you can go big window here if you have control, and you can just plant, you know, either here, or you can plant tucked. Either way, it's safe. They can only kill you from really white or below. Uh, but usually, when you're doing the big window take, you want to execute. You have two people, top white, one person, big window, and then you have your hard breach planting. And then the other guy can either be below in kitchen, or, you know, they can be trophy. If they crouch rock up, they can get the kills. I mean, with this, you know... You have top white control, then you have big window, and then look look at this. You watch the attic cross, you know, they cross over here in case they miss the kids guy. Bam, 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 you kill, easy peasy. So when the mom's down, really, you can either play from below, or you can play big window, you know, play one on each side, just watch the swings. And you can also just send security downstairs, and you can, you know, you can watch the diffuse. Big window, you know, it's hard because they're going to have to jump out. I'll be like, oh, where is he? Oh, my God. You bring a claymore as well if you can, and just play post plant. He's PC. Alright, next up we will go into the master take of the default master take when they're kids games. Now, when I'm going upstairs, either Thermite's pretty good or Ace. Personally, I like to run Habana. I think Habana is really good. I can open up head angles, you know, on the main wall if you want to. Really anything. So, when you are playing Habana on kids upstairs, you want to pre play drones are realistically maybe pre-placed your drone and then use it for later on you know ask your team what can you do 
I like to leave this lobby game here. So with Hibana here, you want to basically uh, go on the Master Bell, drone out, uh, tell your team to take Trophy Attic, you know, or sorry, Trophy Master, and see if they can, you know, get the stuff out the wall from below. Now, when opening the wall, usually I like to open a head hole on, if you're facing in closet, you're opening the top left, and then just, you know, a runnable or crouchable hole here. Uh, default plant usually is this red box here, or sometimes people like to plant on that attic tuck angle I was talking about earlier before. So, watch out for spawn peaks as usual, usually on stream, you know, always gotta watch it. Make sure you watch the master get on top of this car. Most people still don't know about this, but you can just jump on here. Uh, make sure you shoot the default cams. And here it is. So, when you're here, outside master balk, you just want a drone. You know, oh, hey, you know, do they have capping traps? What they have on the wall on top of their team? Uh, people like to rat on this match as well, just lay down. So, be careful with that. And then trophy, you know, take trophy you can. When opening the wall as well, I like to open two head holes here. And then here as well. You can also make it four, and you can make it runnable if you want to. And then here, you have a little bit of safe, a safe space in the middle so you can get shot. You can watch attic if you want to. And you can also watch an angle from top of white if you want to or you know big window so when executing here you know your flashes for burn try to call out use your drone you'll see if anyone's below uh see if where you can plant as well you know they might have a nitro below so ask your team if you can drone below plant spot usually on this red red uh game table sometimes people like to plant around here just so they can get back up really easily and they can peek attic or they can peek top white or, you know, they can be tucked. But the thing is, if you're tucked, like, really far, you can't really get a good swing off your teammate dies. So, that's why sometimes, if you have out of control, you know, you bring the Maverick, uh, you Maverick open, you burn, you know, you take pit, and you get that control. You can point on the tuck here, and they can really only swing you from either attic rotate over here, or they can swing you from the white rotate. So, this is probably the better spot in most scenarios, I would say, just depending on how your team works out. Uh, then you also, have, you know, you have to con have to take control of Bolo, uh, leaf flank camps as well, like I said earlier, and just, you know, scope out what you can do and what you can't do. That's really what your drone usage is. Make sure you drone uh, Master and Armory as well. You know, leave a flank cam, see if they have C4 below, shoot default cams as well, because sometimes I forget to shoot them as well. It happens to the best of us, right? So, that's basically, I would say, the Master plant, the Master default. Uh, sometimes people like to plant here as well if they have a smoke, just so you can get in a little bit early. Uh, it's not really a safer spot unless you have big wind control. So, basically when you're executing here, here's the people that you're going to have. You're going to have one on the master breach, you're going to have one on trophy door, you're going to have one guy attic, and then one big, or two attic, and no one big, just depending. And if you want to plant attic, that's probably the best scenario that you could do. So, you have two attic one trophy door and then one breach and then the guy planning so that's basically it for upstairs for the master default all right so next up here uh the final site that i'm going to talk about is the meeting tank so there's different meeting tanks here uh one of the most common i would say in some competitive plays they like to open up this right split wall and they like to plant on like in this corner here you're very protected you know and it's kind of hard to kill when that happens you just want to basically you know have lobby control have z control leaf cams for bottom main top main and yeah uh usually some guys like to repel over the master as well and they repel upside down just to watch the master you know main flank otherwise than that the most default take is stage now the stage plant there's a couple different ways that you could do it Personally, um, we like to open up this wall with, we have a Maverick if he's not banned, or another Breacher. And we just open up the stage wall, and then we try to plant on that default spot that I was talking about earlier with the, the podium. Now, going on to the stage take here that I was talking about. Basically, you just want to open up the wall here. Usually a Thermite's more easy, I would say, in a way. Uh, open up you know crouch hole that you could walk in you should like to make it this side make a head hold over here so that you could just you know you can burn deep usually you have ADSs, so just burn deep and you want to open up attic walls as well if you can with the maverick you know just make holes if the hatch is uh closed then you don't really need up here control 
but they can still hold holes from above. So when you're executing, you know, just plant somewhere here on stage. Uh, usually you just want to have someone, maybe one or two, just holding green hall. You know, maybe they push up a little bit, hold this angle. Or you can have someone outside of green hall window. Good angle as well. Uh, if you have a need, you can need through the drone hole, kill the sandbags guy, the bomb chassis as well. Super easy. And yeah, two people on breach can watch one side or the other. And then if you have attic control as well, then I mean, you should be good if the hatch is closed, right? Uh, leak cams for downstairs. You know, flank cam, a uh, good spot for a flank cam on Oregon is uh, right here. Or you can put it in the cabinet so it's a little more tucked. Honestly, it's probably better. You could watch the swing and then, oh, this guy backstairs. Okay. I, and I call it, you know, he's crouching up or something. Easy peasy, free kill. So when planting, you know, plant on the stage here. And you should realistically be good. You know, play post plant, play above. You can't play on the stairs, wait for the ticks. Uh, don't let them get control of Green Hall, though. That's basically one thing that you don't want to do. And yeah, I mean, that's basically it. You know, after that, play post plant. Uh, the other wall I was talking about, you know, you can open up here. Pretty common. Most teams don't like to push kitchen unless they push above. But you just have to have above control and then you can plant back kitchen. Just depending on where the site is, like I said. Realistically, you know, you just have to talk with the team. People like to plant on this pillar here. Uh, you just have to have security holes above or you have someone watching from the hatch. And yeah, I mean, that's basically all. Uh, so hopefully you guys enjoy this video. Hopefully you learned something. And hopefully this was more in depth. I'm going to start, you know, I'm going to do all the maps. going to be uploading every day. So hopefully you guys enjoy this, like I said. Uh, if you guys are new, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. It really helps me a lot. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.